What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to do a quick 20 minute body weight workout with zero equipment needed. Um, this is a lot of things I do when I'm on the road traveling. You can do it anywhere, anytime. And a quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor nor a healthcare professional. So please, before trying any of this, consult with your doctor. Um, but yeah, this is what works for me and a few things I like to do. So enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a glute med uh, sideline lift. So you just start here, forearm on the ground in this exact position. The idea is to get the side of this butt on fire. So we go up, three, two, one, down. Up, three, two, one, down. Up, three, two, one, down. We're gonna go 10 aside. Three, two, one, so that's four. Here we go. Five, up, three, two, one, down. This is a great one for working out, getting toned, getting your glute med strong, which for me has been a really good one to get stronger for surfing. They're great stabilizing muscles um, and definitely needed, especially with my lower back lately. These guys help support it. So I love this one before I go surf and in my workout. Awesome for men and women when you hit the glute bead. Okay, and one more. Three, two, and one, and down. We're gonna go to the other side. Here we go. Hit the left side, ready? And up, three, two, one, down. Up, three, two, one, and down. It's really important here. You wanna be feeling it on this Whatever leg is on the bottom that you're lifting with is where you're feeling it. Try and keep everything nice and tight. Your abs are locked in. Good form is what we're all about these days. Two, one, down. Here we go, five more. One, two, three, down. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. I'm starting to burn. Three, two, one, and down. And one more. Three, two, one, and down. Whew. Okay, exercise number two is a reverse lunge to high knee. This is gonna be working the glute max, which is actually the biggest muscle in the body and critical for surfing and power. So we're gonna lunge backwards and then come all the way up with this knee. The point is to get full extension at the very top and get the butt going. So there's one, we're gonna go 10 side, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go to the other side again. This is for the big old glute in the back, and this is a great one for surfing. It's great for getting a lot of power. Um, I think especially for girls, that's a really big area to focus on and work on, and. Um, certainly something I've worked on in my career and my just being an athlete and so I think making sure we get power and nice solid glutes is great for injury prevention, a lot of power, and those big turns on a surfboard. So I love this one. Nine and ten. Okay, exercise number three is a sumo squat to rock. I love this one. Um, we're gonna go a little bit wider with the legs than a normal squat. Point the feet out just a tiny bit. And we're gonna go down, rock one side, rock the other side, and up. That's one, down, rock one side, rock the other side, and up. Obviously, um, a squat is gonna work the quads really well, which we need. Um, and then the side to side I love because it's a little bit more surf specific. You're learning how to transition your weight a little bit better. Um, and get everything moving nice and well together. That's four. We're gonna go to 10 on this one. And five. Make sure to keep that tailbone nice and uh, tucked. Back is straight, core is engaged. Here we go for seven. Oof. Eight, and you can learn to get lower and lower on these. I definitely have some room for improvement. Nine. And 10. Whew. She's feeling it. 
So the legs should be feeling it. Let's take a little 20 second break. Have a sip of water or whatever drink of your choice. And let's get back into it. Okay. Round number two, we're gonna do all three of those exercises. Again, exact same order, exact same way we just did it. So we're gonna start again with these glute need side lying lifts. Here we go. And one, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. These ones might be the hardest ones for me, actually. My glute meads notoriously don't like to turn on very well. So these are a killer little workout for me. It is also my off season, so <laughs> I have not been training very much lately. So this is great. You guys are inspiring me to get back into things. Here we go. I think that's eight, nine. Good job, everybody. Hang in there. 10. Perfect. Let's go to the other side. Okay. And for the left one, here we go. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. You see a lot of pro surfers um, warming up with also mini bands. Obviously this is no equipment needed. So this is a great way to get this one engaged. But before heat, you'll see a lot of surfers on tour doing these ones or mini band crab walks to get these glutes on. So it's a really popular one between both the men and the women on tour um, before we go surf. Okay, so that's seven, eight, Ow, nine, <laughs> and 10. Boom, food is activated. Okay, let's go to the lunges. Here we go. So again, this is now gonna work the glute max, biggest muscle in the entire body. Really great one for power. Uh, really great one for stability on a surfboard. So reverse lunge to high knee. Really important with all of these, any exercise in general I've found, to keep your core super activated, I feel like it's just the center, obviously, of our body, and it keeps everything nice and safe as long as our core's on. So remember to try and keep the core nice and tight. Here we go, that's seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Here we go, next leg. Also, try and keep this knee nice and straight. Don't let it wobble in and out too much. Keep it straight up vertical. I always say like a cement blocks in front of your knee and you can't move it forward and you can't move it side to side. Wanna keep that nice and stable. Make sure that we're hitting the right muscles and nobody gets hurt. Here we go. Good job, nine and 10. All right, third and final is our sumo squat to rock. These ones are really hard for me. Great for the mobility, really awesome one for surfing. So down, side, side, up. Down, side, side, up. I don't know about you guys, this one, it's a little bit harder for me to stay back and in my heels, which is what you're supposed to do. Your body naturally kind of wants to lean forward a little bit, but try and keep everything moving backwards and upright through this one. Honestly, this one, I don't know. I feel in my quads, my butt, my adductors are on. It's like an all around leg hit. <laughs> Here we go. That's seven. We're almost there, you guys. Good job. Here we go. Eight, nine, one more. Hang in there. And 10. Good job. Here we go. <laughs> Next set. Okay, so here we go. This is round two, set number one. We're gonna start with a push-up variation. This one's been amazing for me with my pop-up. I am notoriously a little bit slower on my pop-up uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> so the car next door is, is having a meltdown, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, just ignore it. We're gonna go push up and then bring the leg through and stomp it like that. And then again, push up, other leg. So 10 total, it'll be five each side with the legs. Five. Make sure you keep your core super actively engaged. Do not let your back collapse. Ow, this is hard. Nine, 
One more. Whew. Those are hard for me. Let me know in the comments what you think, but that variation kills me. Okay, number two in this round is going to be a dead bug. These are amazing for warming up to surf and for a workout um, to get your abs nice and toned. So first things first, we're gonna make sure our back is always pressed super hard into the ground. Low back, you want touching the ground at all times. Belly nice and tight and sucked in. Feet at 90. Arms are gonna stay straight up just like this. And we're just gonna lower one leg straight and the other leg straight. Just like that. Remember to keep your lower back pressed into the ground the whole time. Do not let it arch up like that. Keep it down. These are honestly amazing. They've been amazing for my lower back. And they've also just been great for my abs and overall like core stability. I do these every day, um, no matter what, whether I'm surfing, not surfing in a gym session, these are amazing. So here we go. We're gonna go for 10. That's five each side right there. Six. Six, good job, hang in there. Seven, seven, eight, eight, almost there. Nine, nine, nice and strong. 10 and 10, perfect, okay. Then third thing in this set, we're gonna do a little bear crawl. These are awesome. So keeping the back nice and flat, the core really engaged. All we're gonna do is go up on all four so your knees are off the ground. And we're gonna one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're just gonna do this about five times. That's three. Four and five here. Good job, hang in there. Let your body shake from side to side too much and relax. Take a little breather. We'll do that one more time. Okay, very good. Well done, everybody. Killing it. Okay, here we go. Round two, set number two. Again, we're gonna start with that push-up variation, my absolute <laughs> least favorite favorite. It's a love-hate. So we're gonna go everything nice and tight. Push up, come through with the leg. Push up, come through with the leg. Again, 10 total here. So five of each side with the legs and hang in there, you guys. We're almost done. You're killing it. I'm getting tired too, which makes you feel any better. The burn is for real around here. Ow. <laughs> Your girl needs a little bit of work for Hawaii, but we're all getting there. And that's 10. Okay, then we're gonna go back to that dead bug for your core. So remember, on your back, keeping that low back into the ground, belly nice and flat. Arms up, legs at 90, and we're gonna drop and drop and drop and drop. Awesome job, you guys. These are honestly, probably if I could pick one exercise that's my favorite of everything we did today, I think it would be these ones. I do them religiously. I love them for so many reasons and they're hard. They're good for you. They make you look good. <laughs> so all the above. Hang in there. We're gonna go for two more. One, one, two, and two. Good job. Last thing, and then we're done with this 20 minute burner. Um, okay, we are gonna do the little bear crawls. Once again, when you do these, try not to shake back and forth too much. Try and keep everything in really nice alignment, really tight, don't slump. We got this, this is the last one. So remember, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Oh, these are hard. Drop me a comment. Tell me what's been the hardest thing today. What you want to see more of. What you want to see less of with workouts. What interests you. Here we go. We're going to do one more forward. And one more backward. And come down and rest. 
<sighs> awesome job, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Honestly, it's so fun to have people interested in what I do. That's a great one for whoever you are at home, on the road, during an event, not during an event, whatever it is. Um, so good job. And a lot of people do not give themselves enough credit for just doing something as simple as 20 minutes a day. So um, give yourself some credit, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope you have a beautiful day. See you next time.